Police say a 79 year old man was attacked by a group of men who forced their way into his Ann Arbor home. They say four men knocked on his door on Marlboro Drive just before 3 a.m. on Monday morning, asking if they could use his phone. He initially turned them away and then decided to help them out. And that's when police say the suspects pulled out a long gun and a pistol. They say one suspect fired a shot into the home and then another grabbed the victim and hit him in the head with a gun. The men then forced their way in and stole a jar of marijuana. Neighbors heard the commotion and called 911. The suspects took off in a car, which police say turned out to be stolen. It was found a few hours later. Today, two members of the LGBTQ community are planning to share their stories of being abused by the late sports doctor Robert Anderson. They're scheduled to speak at 1030 this morning about what they see as the University of Michigan's failure to hold itself accountable. One of the survivors says that he helped bring the crisis into the public eye back in 2019. The university has reportedly received more than 2,100 complaints of sexual abuse by Dr. Anderson. Anderson retired from U of M back in 2003, and he died in 2008. Right now, crews in Detroit are working to repair a water main break that's flooded a street and Boy, has created quite the mess. Check it out. Cleanup efforts are underway on Harlow Street. That's between Cambridge and Vassar, just north of Seven Mile in Detroit. And it really is a mix of water, slush, ice. It's it was so much it traps. Some cars have been parked on the street. The Detroit Water and Sewerage Department told Seven Action News that they're dealing with a backlog of water main breaks right now because of the cold weather. Well, the department will continue to monitor water mains for the next 10 days as temperatures will remain near freezing. Good morning. A mostly cloudy day will be ahead, but at least temperatures will be just a touch warmer. We're talking about numbers returning to the 30s. They're going to stay here for the rest of today and for the start of your Wednesday. Some snow showers will be passing through, though, and that could mix with a little bit of rain later tonight as temperatures stay above freezing.